Super 16 Dream Team Showcase is sponsored by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. Your gateway to everywhere. Wise Markets, Duncan, Century Dental Associates, Gohan Auto Store, Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships, and Kaiser Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's time for the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase. I'm Ron Snyder alongside Landon Stoller. Over the course of the next hour, we'll reveal some top 32 athletes. Now these are the best and the best in our area, so let's get right to it. It's all next on WNEP. The following is a WNEP exclusive sports presentation. The Super 16 Dream Team Showcase, sponsored by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, your gateway to everywhere. It's time to meet the Super 16 Dream Team. First up on the Dream Team, it wouldn't be a Dream Team without this guy standing next to me, Dominique Spataro. Tell me what enabled you just to make big plays out of nothing this year. Sometimes when things were broke, breaking down, you found a way to get it done. Well, having the team that I was surrounded by really helps. Having two other people that went all state, a bunch of other people all region and all division. Having so many seniors and people I've played with since I was six years old always is always a good thing. You know, the good chemistry and just everyone believes in you. Everyone was a big leader and it just all contributes. Now, chemistry is one thing, but leadership is another. So what would you tell the players in the huddle to make sure that everybody was ready on every play? People really seem to look up to you. That's something that the whole team had, you know, um, not only me, but everybody. I think we had six captains this year, which usually we only have like three or four. And I think all the seniors, even some juniors could have been captains. So everyone had a good mentality and a good leadership role on, on the team to keep everyone in track and keep their heads up. Now you're 5'9", 180, so you, you play bigger than your size. So what do you do out there just to be tough on every play, make sure you take teams out and really yeah. just give them all of your heart on every play? Your, your mechanics have to be really good. You have to be a real, like, you have to be smart with the game. You have to know your stuff, and you just got to be quick on your feet. You got to think fast and just think smart. So what does it mean to you that you've landed on the Dream Team this season? It's a big honor to um, be back here to get it the second time as I got it last year, too, and to be back and actually have it here at the airport this time is really cool. It's a good experience to be able to be on the team with a bunch of other good players and have two teammates on it, too. So you certainly carved out a special spot in Lakeland history with all your dynamic plays. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next Dream Team quarterback is Zach Gordon from Danville. Congratulations on making the Dream Team. This season, just a magical season for the Ironmen. When you look back at your senior year, what goes through your minds? Uh, I think that we got a lot of our goals accomplished. Obviously, it didn't end the way that we wanted it to with the loss of line missing, but we beat a lot of good teams and we played some really good football. So, I mean, there's not much to complain about. How proud are you? of the way your team responded the first time you really faced adversity all season. Yeah, when you play teams and you win by a lot of touchdowns, that's easy to do, but when you get down like we were 21-0, and then you're able to come back and make it a game and make it come down to the last play, I think that speaks a lot to the fight that was in us. Your stats were just insane. You had a 70% completion percentage, threw for nearly 2,300 yards, 34 touchdowns to just three interceptions. On average, it took you less than five attempts to score a touchdown. Yeah. Does that even sound real? Because those numbers <laughs> seem like video game numbers. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you saw the, you saw the kids that were around me, like, who I'm throwing to, and then our coaches, they, they it's all they do, man. They, they just cook up a really good game plan every single week, so. When, it, when there's open people to throw to and you have a great game plan, it's, it's a lot easier than people think. He's Zach Gordon, Dream Team quarterback. Congratulations once again. Thank you. 36 touchdowns this season. This man needs no introduction to opposing defenses. Brady Jordan, what were you able to do this year to really be so successful and really be tough and carry your entire team? Uh, I try to bring my all every day in practice, and then practice leads over to Friday night. So I just gave all my effort to my teammates. How does your running ability really open things up for the passing game? Uh, as me being a quarterback, they don't just have to worry about me throwing and running. So like we have like, like the read option, whatever they got to worry about me or Hayden running the ball. So, what was the moment this year that you knew? Obviously, you had a successful season last year, but where do you think you took the biggest stride forward this season? Uh, definitely in the summer, the weight program and uh, getting together with all the guys almost every day. Like they all said, we were together every day, working out throwing, anything like that. When you look back on your career at Jersey Shore, what are you going to remember the most about what, what you built at the school? Uh, I'm just going to remember like for the past three years, uh, all the tradition that everybody before me and our, our uh, class has put together, 
and just hopefully the program keeps building. A tradition of touchdowns and success. You certainly had a, had a lot of those. What's it mean to you to be on this dream team? Uh, I mean, it's a great opportunity. You know, I've dreamt about being like getting on this team since I was a sophomore in my first year, so it means a lot. Hopefully it's a lift off for success in the rest of your life and hopefully some more football coming through. Yeah. We're here with Matt Mahalik, quarterback from Palmerton area. He was a dream teamer as a sophomore. He's back on the dream team as a junior. What does it mean to you to make the dream team twice and to still have a chance to make it a third time? It's something to motivate myself for and uh, always just push and yeah, it says my name and all, but it's a team thing and it credits Palmerton and what we did as a whole and just thankful to those guys. You just put up some ridiculous stats. I'm going to go over some of them real quick. Over 2,500 passing yards, 31 passing touchdowns. You ran for over 1,200 yards, 21 more scores. I mean, you're the definition of a dual threat quarterback. Yeah. How much pride do you take in that, that you can beat teams with just your arm and also your legs? I'm just blessed to be able to have uh, the ability to do those things and just a group of guys, like I said before, around me. You could just throw it up to them. They're going to go make plays. Um, and then just the running ability when I just see a hole or when I just see stuff break down in the out of the pocket, I just take off and it's just it's just fun and just looking back at like film and the tapes and stuff, it's just fun to watch myself be able to do it and I just don't realize it during the game. So you get the command on the field out there and you have to take that role and I take it with like with my heart and I just take pride in it and it's just special playing for the Palmerton Blue Bomber program and I love every second, every moment, and I cherish every moment of it. He's Matt Mahalik, quarterback at Palmerton area and on the Dream Team for a second straight year. Here's a guy that certainly knows how to take off an entire football team and lead to the next level, Valley View quarterback Adam Hawanitz. Tell me how your hard work in the classroom really paid off to help you succeed on the football field. Uh, well, it's one of those things where it really ultimately becomes like a balancing act where, you know, dealing with obviously schoolwork, being in school most of the day, and then going to practice and, and most of the time coming home and doing more schoolwork. But luckily, you know, I have two parents that are teachers, so, you know, they've done, they're doing a great job of kind of helping me out. My father was uh, obviously a big time football player here in the area and was the same situation, great student athlete. So having parents and, you know, a great support staff around me with even some of the other teachers in the building that are understanding what, hey, you know, it's not easy being, you know, a football player or any sport, doing any other after, after school activities and coming back and succeeding in the classroom. So they do a great job of helping me out with whatever I need. So how does your study habits in the classroom really pay off in terms of studying football and studying film to be ready for Friday night? You know, whether you're uh, memorizing, you know, I guess fractions or memorizing plays the teams are running. A lot of the uh, tricks and tips you use in the classroom for studying you use on the football field as well. Now how do you push yourself whether it's late in the fourth quarter you know doing your homework late at night after practice when you don't really feel like it after your body hurts how do you push yourself in those difficult moments when you don't have a lot left? It's just that you know it's remembering the uh, that grind that constant pushing forward at, you know like you said kind of giving that little extra and you have nothing left it just it's kind of summing all that up bringing all that up to where it needs to get to and just kind of getting done you got to get done give you this trophy uh, scholarship athlete of the year and as well a scholarship $1,600 from WNEP uh, thank you I appreciate it up next on the dream team our offensive line and tight ends that's it. I'm going on the Duncan run. I'll do a Duncan run. Yeah, me too. I will also go on a Duncan run. <laughs> I like donuts. Time for a Duncan run. Add a dollar donut to any medium or larger coffee. Flying to and from AVP is always convenient and hassle-free. Whether for business or leisure, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport is friendly and easy. It's easy and convenient to park, easy to ticket, convenient to board, and convenient to connect. And TSA is a breeze at AVP. When you return, your bags are close to your transportation. No matter where you want to be, you can conveniently get there from AVP. Hey, it's Jay from up here at Alexander Keel. I want to talk to you about something that's important, and that's our low price guarantee. It's this simple. If we have the vehicle you want to buy, and our price isn't the lowest, we'll pay you $1,000. You also get complimentary car washes, free lifetime state inspections, and loaner cars when available. I have more new Kias in stock than I've had in the last two years. They're on the ground, serviced, and ready for immediate delivery. Alexander Kia, 2501 Lycoming Creek Road, the lowest price guaranteed. Thank you. 
Get back to smiling at Century Dental Associates. We're setting the dental industry standards by offering the latest technology, a committed team dedicated to providing excellent care in a comfortable atmosphere. With more hours, more doctors, and more locations, you'll be able to book an appointment easier than ever. Visit us online at CenturyDentalSmiles.com to find a location near you. Century Dental Associates, now accepting new patients. I forgot already. Sasha? All interns must complete the Dunkin' Run. Okay. Meredith. Meredith. Iced coffee, milk, no sugar, glazed donut. And? Extra napkin, she's a Libra. Good. Uh, Charlie. Charlie, Boston cream and a hot coffee. <clears throat> okay. Ted. There is no Ted. Exactly. <gasps> you got this. <sighs> Time for a Dunkin' Run. Add a dollar donut to any medium or larger coffee. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase. Lakeland's Lakota Dupree, a highlight reel waiting to happen on offense and defense. Boy, it was a great year for you. Personally, it was definitely a great accomplishment um, getting named All-State again. Uh, I was obviously named there as a junior and being named as a senior is just another tap on the back for uh, my work ethic and the hard work I put in. I uh, break, broke a couple school records and uh, I broke the Lackawanna Conference record for tight end receptions and I believe receiving yards. So conquering some of those things is just another thing I jot down in my notes and look back upon when I, future kids I have possibly. So how did the guys around you really allow you to succeed this season? Oh, the team was great, you know, having an undefeated season, going for a district championship, uh, especially a senior year group, having two of them now, a sophomore and senior year. So this group was definitely special. We were an uh, old group, and those are always the championship groups. We do wish we went farther in state playoffs, but things went south with injuries and everything like that. So now it's just um, we hope that we put our, um, our heart and soul into this team like we did, and it passes on to the next team, the next team, the next team, and everyone just be successful. Lakota Dupree, a must get for the Super 16 Dream Team. We're here now with Aiden Black, tight end from Delaware Valley. Congratulations on making the Dream Team. Thank you. Uh, your stats aren't exactly eye-popping, but Delaware Valley was such a run-heavy first team. Uh, for you, as a blocking tight end and also taking advantage of your opportunities when they came to you in the past game, what went through your mind pre-snap, and what was your goal out there as a player? As a blocker, come off the ball physically, and, you know, we, we like to run the ball behind me. Um, and I know that as a player, so, you know, I'm getting in my stance thinking, all right, I'm going to have to do my job here because, you know, otherwise, you know, it's not going to work out. And then, you know, re receiving the ball, I mean, like, like you said, I get, I, you know, make the best of my opportunities. So if I, uh, you know, go out on a route and I catch the ball, you know, I'm trying to get as many yards as I can because I know those, those opportunities are um, few and far between. But, you know, obviously everyone's going to love to, you know, catch the ball once in a while. And, get some glory but honestly to me like getting off the ball and being able to block people and you know do my job for the team is what really matters. Well speaking of the team you won your seventh straight district yeah. championship this season. Yeah. What did that mean to you? Um, it, it was big for us um, especially coming off the 0-3 start in the beginning of the season. Um, I couldn't be more grateful for the team. How does this team take that next step from a district champion to a potential state champion? The passion for the game is really what's going to get us there, I think. Well, we'll be watching next season. He's Aiden Black, tight end from Delaware Valley and on the Dream Team. Of course, a Dream Team member we have to have. Crest Woods, John Jones up front, the offensive and defensive line. Now, you're a guy a few words, but you speak with your play. What was the most rewarding part for you about being on the Dream Team? Uh, just shows how much work I've put in, how much my teammates have put in. What are you going to remember most about your time at Crestwood? I'm um, going to remember the friendships, relationships I've made with coaches, other players, probably the most. What was the moment in the summertime? You guys talked all season about the brotherhood and the chemistry. What was the moment in the summertime where you really felt you, like you guys gelled? I feel like at team camp we really clicked. Uh, you became more of a family. I got to know each other a lot better. For you, how were you guys able to improve defensively from the start of the season to the end of the year? Uh, we got back into our groove. Uh, we focus on what we had to improve on the week prior. Just hard work throughout the week. Being a dream team member, what do you want your legacy to be at, at Crestwood? Just hard working. Hard work carrying forward to, to the teams going forward. All right, well, congratulations once again, John, for being a member of the 2022 Dream Team. Congratulations to you and Crestwood. Thank you.
Next up is Chris Treshock from Southern Columbia, offensive lineman. Congratulations on making the dream team. Thank you. Well, there was no secrets about your offense this year. You were going to run the ball. Everyone knew you were going to run the ball. Good luck stopping you running the ball, and you were still <laughs> able to run the ball. As an offensive lineman, how gratifying is that to be able to run as effectively as you've been able to? I don't know. It's a great feeling to be able to do what, what we plan to do. I'm sure it's also a great feeling being able to block for guys like Braden Wozlowski and Wes Barnes. What's it like blocking for them? Oh, definitely. It, it makes our job easier, honestly, because we need less of a less of a hole and a gap for them to be able to get through because they have speed and, and good eyes and they hit the hole fast. So For you, to get some of the recognition, <laughs> what, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. Um, it just shows that all the work that we put in, not just me, but everyone as a team, like we get something out of it. What's a dream for most is routine for you at Southern. How do you make sure you stop and appreciate that? Uh, I appreciate it a lot. Um, just the coaches in general, we probably have some of the best coaches in the country. Um, just the way we go in and game plan and they get us prepared for each and every game, make sure we don't take it lightly. Chris Treshock, Dream Team, offensive lineman. Joining us now, a guy that leads the way up front for Lakeland. Tell me, Adam Wormwith, what you did all season just to be successful, plowing people out of the way on offense and on defense, getting behind the line of scrimmage. Um, it takes a lot of work. Um, just lifted a lot over the off season, and I just like got the guys together with the linemen, and we worked hard all over the summer and improved it during the season. Which one do you like better, offensive line or defensive line? I like playing offensive line because I get to see what the defense has given us. Um, I like to go out there and just be aggressive and not have to worry. What was your most rewarding play this season where you really felt like, man, I really plowed guys out of the way to lead to a big touchdown? Um, just pancaking kids and just watching the film and just seeing how aggressive I am on the field and seeing the highlights. What's the most difficult part about leading up to it, the preparation that people don't see that made you successful this year? Uh, people didn't know who I was because I've only played two years of football, but I think this year really proved like what I am and on the field and um, and I worked hard over the offseason. So having said all that, no football experience, now you're, you're on the dream team. What does that mean to you? It means a lot because I didn't thought I'd be here. I thought I, just, I came out just to help the team, and um, I didn't know I was going to be as good of a player, and I give credit to my coaches and teammates for putting me in this position. Well, it's 6'4". Like you said, you're still lifting, and you're yeah. always the guy to follow behind. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're here now with Carl Beardsley, the executive director of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, who is once again sponsoring the Dream Team Showcase. Carl, this is the first time we're here in like three years. Two years ago, I had to cancel the event. Last year, we had to go to each individual school because of COVID. What does it mean to have the team and the players back here physically inside the airport for the first time in three years? We're so happy to have you back. It's a fantastic program. We love being a part of it and will be a part of it in the near future. There's so much talent in this area. How much pride do you take when you come in here and you see all the players being interviewed? We couldn't be any prouder just because these students are, are wonderful. They do a good job for the community. What does it mean to you to be part of this since day one and why has the, this partnership been able to survive two decades? I've been told that our first year people were so impressed that they were talking about coming back for the next 10 years. You know, that's how we look at it here, long term, because it's such a great program. For you, how have you seen things change at the airport during COVID? Finally, we're starting to grow. It took us a little while, and we were advancing incrementally. It didn't happen all at once, but we were able to advance ourselves to the level that we want to be in and have the number of passengers that go through this airport similar to what we had before, which were record-breaking years. Well, thank you again, Carl Beardsley, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport Executive Director as the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, once again sponsoring the Dream Team Showcase. Next on the Super 16 Dream Team, the defensive line. Over the last 31 years in Taylor, VA, Gahan Auto Store has developed a strong attachment to the community in an effort to give back to youth organizations in any PA, the area Gahan loves, actively seeking out opportunities to sponsor youth organizations and events dedicated to enriching our community. Gahan Auto Store thoroughly enjoyed their involvement as leaders in the community supporting youth programs and will continue to assist whenever possible as they seek positive teamwork and goals. Gahan Auto Store, where Taylor meets Old Forge. Jack's playing baseball now, and Sam inherited her dad's love of chemistry and his teeth. And I'm learning that having a family is expensive. Well, at Wise, you can find plenty of ways to save on things your family loves. And less money on groceries means more money for... everything else. That's awesome. That's Wise. Eat better. Spend less. That's Wise. 
President's Day sales event. Hi, it's Adam at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. With over 170 brand new Chevrolets available and more on the way, including more than 100 Silverados and 2.99% on select 1500 Silverados. Why go anywhere else? Rates as low as 0.9% on Chevrolet certified pre-owned, which include a scheduled maintenance program and two factory back warnings. And only at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie, where you'll find the lowest price Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase. It's time to move on to the defensive line, and we're here with big six foot five, 265 pound Noah Roshak from Jim Thorpe. Congratulations on making the Dream Team. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So you had 25 tackles for loss this year, eight and a half sacks. You pride yourself on being a disruptive lineman because it really seems like you do. Yeah, no. So I definitely want to get in that backfield as much as I can. You know, help out my team, help out my linebackers as much as I can. Last year had a lot of tackles for loss. Didn't have the sacks, so I really want to step up the sack game this year, and that's why I did. So take me through you as a defensive lineman. What's your go-to move? A bull rush, a swim move? What, what do you like to go to? Particularly, everyone thinks that since I'm being so, since I'm just so big, they won't, they think bull rush. But I like using the swim move because I'm just quick with it, and I get in the backfield. I make all my plays on the swim move. How much do you kind of work on that craft? Oh, I love like every chance I get in free time in practice, I'm working on my swim move. And I'm working usually on my spin too, but. I love using my moves and using my hands, I think, is the biggest part as a D lineman. Your head coach, Mark Rosenberger, wrote about you and said he's, you're one of the hardest workers he's ever seen on his football teams throughout the years. When you hear that, what goes through your mind? I just greatly appreciate him. I, I've been around Rose all my life. You know, He coached my brothers and actually was the, I was the ball boy for him when I was younger. So me and him have a great connection. Uh, I love working every day with him. And, we just have a great time with each other. How did you guys have that winning edge on defense and starting up front with you? Uh, our game plan was amazing. We just had such a good idea of what we wanted to do, of how we want to place our players and uh, uh, have a good game plan. What was your goal every game, Magnus, to really just get behind the line of scrimmage and get that penetration so you guys could be successful? I just wanted to overpower my person with my hand moves, my speed, and just to get off the line every time to give them more pressure they can handle. When was the moment lining up at the line of scrimmage that you knew you had somebody beat just mentally? It would really just take the first drive because I would know that I would have more effort and more intensity throughout the game just to overwhelm them. And how does your training for wrestling really help you on the defensive line and being ready for the football season? It really helps with my body control of like where my body's placement, my hands, and uh, the technique and swiftness to get around the person. How does you guys really help the secondary as well in terms of making the defense better? Uh, keeping the pressure up, keeping the quarterback uh, like docile, you know that we're coming every single drive and you have to worry about us first before you threw it. How do you think you've built a legacy for this defense to have that tenacity going forward? I just hope I had a great example to show them what they can do and what they should do to have a great season like we did. All right, well, thank you very much, and congratulations to you on being a latest Dream Team member. Thank you. Our next defensive lineman is Jesse Rodino from Marion Catholic. Congratulations on thank making you. the Dream Team. Thank you. Uh, we had one of our photographers shoot one of your games this year, and he comes back into the sports office and he says, number 50 on Marion, he needs to be on the Dream Team. What does that mean to you when you hear something like that? It's actually... It, it's actually really big. I didn't, I didn't know anything about the dream team until my coach told me, and then he told me he gave me the rundown of everything. And then I, I as soon as I heard, that, I called my grandma, I called my dad. It was like, it was like the, the biggest news of my life. I was like so excited, couldn't stop smiling for the, the rest of the day. And what's that like, kind of flying alongside your identical twin brother on this team? Huge competitor. We're always. We're at the end of every game, we're always like, oh, who has, a, who has the most tackles, the most pancakes, you know, et cetera, whatever it be. So he's like my biggest rival, you could say. Your coach, Stan DeCosti, kind of a legend in this area. How has he molded you into the player that you are today? He's made a huge impact on my life. Um, from Coming from a public school, going to a Catholic school, he uh, put it in a perspective like you know religion football family faith all that and he's i just, I just want to say a big thank you to him for you know really changing my life around well we're looking forward to seeing what you can do this year and next year jesse rodino from marion catholic thank you up next on the dream team our running backs 
Why settle for less than the best? Choose the best. Choose Blaze Alexander Nissan's low price guarantee. We have the best prices. We have the best service. And we have the best selection of new and certified pre-owned Nissans. And everyone comes with our low price guarantee or we'll pay you $1,000. We dare you to find a better dealer. Never settle. Demand the best. Alexander Nissan, the best. With our low price guarantee, we're taking the deals the other guys won't. Flying to and from AVP is always convenient and hassle-free. Whether for business or leisure, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport is friendly and easy. It's easy and convenient to park, easy to ticket, convenient to board, and convenient to connect. And TSA is a breeze at AVP. When you return, your bags are close to your transportation. No matter where you want to be, you can conveniently get there from AVP. The Kaiser Brothers are here to help get you into the new vehicle of your dreams. Find a Jeep for all your winter adventures during Owner Appreciation Month. Need a truck? No problem. Choose from a full lineup of light and heavy-duty trucks, chassis, and ProMaster vans. No matter what vehicle you're looking for, the Kaiser Boys on Route 405 in Muncie and Route 11 in Danville are where selection and service equal satisfaction. Hey, this is the crew at Blaze Alexander, Great Hills to Buick GMC. If you're in the market for a used car, we have got Fords, we got GMCs, Chevys, Nissans, Kias, Buicks. Matter of fact, we got it all. We even have the lowest price guarantee. Or you'll get $1,000. <laughs> With a $1,000 guarantee, we'll be crushing the competition. So why go anywhere else if you're out looking for a car? Blaze Alexander, Buick GMC, the lowest price guarantee. Or we'll give you $1,000. Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase. It's now time to debut the running backs on the Super 16 Dream Team. Joining us now, Parker Valesta. Man, I might get ran over standing next to you. 10 yards to carry this season, more than 10 yards to carry. What enabled you to get to the second level this season? Uh, you know, a big factor was the offensive line. You know, they paved the way for me, made it real easy to get that first five yards. What was the biggest difference for you as an underclassman running back to now as, as a senior? What allowed you to be more successful? You know, last year was my first year at running back, so it really helped me, you know, get to feel out the holes, learn how to actually play running back. Definitely got to use your block, so what are your goals next? What are you still working on to, to be even better? You know, I want to get faster. I want to get more agile. You know, that was a big thing for me going into this year was to get faster, you know, be able to have that breakaway speed, you know, be able to track people down on defense. That's big. What would your younger self, how proud would you be of yourself with, with all you accomplished? You know, uh, younger me, you know, always dreamed of stuff like this. And uh, so it's really a dream come true. Right, you had so many great runs for touchdowns this season, but what was your favorite run overall this season looking back? You know, I'd have to say uh, one of the touchdown runs against Williamsport, you know, it was a tight game a little bit until uh, the third quarter, and uh, we ended up being able to break one for, I think it was like 80 yards, you know, to really uh, seal our dominance in that game. Definitely a big run and a big, led into a big victory. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sure you'll be spending a lot of time in the weight room, finding more people to run over, getting big and doing big things. Thanks so much. Thank you. We're here now with Riley Parker from Canton, dream team running back for the second straight season. I was really, you know, excited to be nominated my first time there. Uh, you know, it's the, some of the best players in the state. And then, you know, to be able to come back, uh, I think just shows, you know, that I've been working and, you know, it's paid off. Well, it paid off to the tune of over 1,300 yards, 24 touchdowns. What do you think made you so kind of unstoppable this season as a running back? I would have to give, you know, most credit to, you know, my linemen. I think they did a really good job with all the schemes we did. And, you know, they went, you know, played hard every game and opened up the holes. And without them, I wouldn't be able to do anything. What does it mean to you to be part of two of the best seasons in Canton football history? And you were right in the middle of it. Uh, it feels really good to, you know, kind of leave a little bit of a legacy behind, you know, to be able to put something together like that feels really good. Did you guys feel like this was a special year that it was going to happen? Because from the outside looking in, it looked like it. Uh, yeah, you know, from day one, you know, we wanted it. And I think we worked really hard and, you know, things just didn't go our way in the end. And, you know, we're grateful for all the memories we made and, you know, we're happy either way. He's Riley Parker from Canton and a Dream Team running back. Congratulations. Thank you. 
This man knows how to run through everybody. Alex Achenbach from Williams Valley. Tell me what enabled you, enabled you this season to really get through the line of scrimmage and really succeed and carry your team running the football. Running behind uh, a couple of them for two, three years, it really helped because then you know how they're going to block and how they're going to set the holes and you know, the fullback's the same. How did you go from, like you said, being scared running into bigger people to being the one running over people? How, what was that transition like for you? You know, when I was a freshman, I was a lot smaller and a lot slower. I think I ran like a 5'3", and then, you know, working on my speed and strength, I grew up a bit. I uh, matured a bit. I think I run like a 4'7", 4'8", now, and it just makes it a lot easier. And taking on those big blows as a freshman, makes me a lot stronger mentally and it really helps. Coach always told me he had some jokes with you about you know your speed. What's the funniest thing he said to you about you being slow and you, you stepping up and getting faster? He said well I was one of the most athletically kids, athletic kids that he's ever seen but I was just so slow. Just one of the slowest that he's ever seen as well. But now you're, you're running through people and finding a way to get to the end zone. Congratulations on making it to the Dream Team Alex. Thank you I appreciate it. We're here now with Braden Wislowski, running back from Southern Columbia. Congratulations Thank for making you. the dream team. So you had over 1,600 rushing yards, 24 rushing touchdowns. So Wes Barnes goes down with the injury. You become the main running back. Mm -hmm. This is normally a running back by committee. How did you kind of take the lead knowing that you were going to be the main guy for those five games? When, when he went down, I knew I had to step up the game. I, I talked to the players. I talked to the teammates. Uh, they knew what they had to do too. How much pride do you take in that rush attack knowing that everyone knew it was coming and you were still able to have success? I definitely take a lot of pride in it. Um, it's really hard to stop um, us two backs and including Loudon and Carter. So it's pretty unstoppable running back. That's four straight state titles you've been a part of now, six straight for the program in general. How has the team success kind of helped your individual success and, and vice versa? Uh, it definitely helped um, my individual success because uh, winning that much state championships and going there, not many people get to do that. So it's, uh, it's really an honor um, being on this team and going six in a row. What does it mean to you to kind of be that next Southern Columbia Tiger to play at a Big Ten school? It really means a lot um, knowing them. I haven't played with them, but I played with them when I was little. Um, Julian's a really good friend of mine. I know Gavin. He's, he's my best friend. So. Um, it's really an honor uh, going to Big Ten and following, the, following in their footsteps. Congratulations. You get to wear your Southern Columbia mm -hmm. jersey one more time. He's Braden Wislowski, a dream team running back. All right, well, this guy is a touchdown waiting to happen. Loyal Sox, Davion Hill, more than 2,400 yards rushing this season. What do you think you did to improve from last year to this year? I think I uh, had a tough off season and worked really hard to uh, get back and uh, run harder and just uh, get my speed up. Now everybody knows you're a good basketball player, so what do you love most about football? It's just big for me. I just love getting in the end zone and uh, breaking through tackles and stuff like that, and I just love uh, playing football. There's a lot of fast guys on your team, so how do you guys really build up each other just to be even better? Just starting in the summer, just starting in sevens in the summer is really big for us. We have a lot of athletes on our team, so uh, scout team, scout team's always fun, and every practice is fun to us because we get to go up against each other and get ready for our game. So it definitely plays a big part and plays a big part for us in the games. Was there a moment where the game slowed down for you even more as a running back and your vision improved this season? Definitely. Last year, I think I was a lot more anxious to get into the holes and uh, stuff like that. But I think this year I was very patient and waited for the hole to uh, develop and definitely uh, took my time and uh, hit the holes hard this year. So how do guys like your brother and Ryan motivate you to be successful as an athlete? Just uh, seeing their hard work and uh, my brother, he plays a big part in my life. And uh, growing up, I always wanted to be like him. He was really like a father figure in my life. So him, him just being successful and seeing my buddy Glunk too, it definitely uh, gave me some uh, go to go this year. Up next, our Defensive Player of the Year. That's it. I'm going on the Duncan Run. I'll do a Duncan Run. Yeah, me too. I will also go on a Duncan Run. <laughs> I like donuts. Time for a Duncan Run. Add a dollar donut to any medium or larger coffee. Wherever you are on the road to life, you can be sure the 2023 Subaru Forester. You get standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus up to 33 miles per gallon. Did you know that 97% of all Foresters sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today? We have Ascents, Outbacks, Crosstrex, the redesigned WRX, and yes, we have the all-new EV, the Subaru Solterra. All new Subarus on our lot for the month of February will mark down to our lowest price possible. So make the trip to the strip and see for yourself that we always take the deals the other guys won't. And coming soon, our brand new Subaru location. Exit 17 off I-180.
Get back to smiling at Century Dental Associates. We're setting the dental industry standards by offering the latest technology, a committed team dedicated to providing excellent care in a comfortable atmosphere. With more hours, more doctors, and more locations, you'll be able to book an appointment easier than ever. Visit us online at CenturyDentalSmiles.com to find a location near you. Century Dental Associates, now accepting new patients. Hey, it's Jay from up here at Alexander Keel. I want to talk to you about something that's important, and that's our low price guarantee. It's this simple. We have the vehicle you want to buy, and our price isn't the lowest. We'll pay you $1,000. You also get complimentary car washes, free lifetime state inspections, and loaner cars when available. I have more new Kias in stock than I've had in the last two years. They're on the ground, serviced, and ready for immediate delivery. Alexander Kia, 2501 Lycoming Creek Road. The lowest price guarantee. I forgot already. Sasha, all interns must complete the Dunkin' Run. Okay. Meredith. Meredith. Iced coffee, milk, no sugar, glazed donut. And? Extra napkin, she's a Libra. Good. Uh, Charlie. Charlie, Boston cream and a hot coffee. <clears throat> okay. Ted. There is no Ted. Exactly. <gasps> you got this. <gasps> Time for a Dunkin' Run. Add a dollar donut to any medium or larger coffee. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase. We're here with Weston Bellows from Canton. Congratulations on making the Dream Team. Thank you. You're an also an all-state selection as an athlete, and I think that's pretty fitting because you've really contributed in all three phases of the game. How crucial is that to be able to contribute in all three phases? Uh, I think it's huge for me and us as a team. I mean, most of our guys are playing all three sides of the ball, and to be able to contribute at that level is a huge advantage. You put yourself in position to pick off five passes this season. How did you do that? Uh, my line putting pressure on the quarterback really helped, and it just put me in the position, and luckily I was able to capitalize. To be another Canton Warrior making the dream team, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome for our community, our area, our team, and, I mean, it's just an honor. You've been part of the two best seasons in Canton football history. What does that mean to you? Growing up, we watched Canton Hall of Fame highlights of guys and stuff like that, and just to know that, like, that's going to be other kids watching us someday I think is awesome. Uh, Canton really hadn't had the success that you've had recently, but Tyler Seacrest has really done an incredible job with this program. How has your coach really turned Canton into a 1A football power? I mean, he's a great coach. Him and the rest of our coaching staff is huge. They push us and make sure we're always working hard and giving all we got, and that's huge. Weston Bellows, a dream team, free safety. The latest addition to the Dream Team, a guy that really revved up the Jersey Shore offense and defense, Cooper Peacock. Now, this season, you guys really played well, but what was so difficult about how the season ended and how can that propel you guys' legacy forward uh, for this entire Jersey Shore program? Um, I think what we did the past four years, uh, making it to state playoffs, really has motivated us. And uh, coming up short of the Final Four, like we did the past couple years, um, I think that's going to build off what we did, and I think that's going to help the younger generation coming up to uh, motivate them. Now you're 5'10", so you've always had the height, but what did you do in the last couple of years to really have your hands catch up to your height and be able to utilize both? Um, you know, just working out in the summer. We start right after school in June. Uh, Brady's throwing me passes pretty much every day throughout the summer, and it helped out a lot. Which position do you like better, defensive back or, or wide receiver? Um, I think they go hand in hand. I can't really pick a favorite. Um, I love them both a lot and uh, just like being able to make plays on either one. So, You definitely made plays on both, so what does it mean to you to be making your first Dream Team? Oh, it's a great feeling. I can't, can't express it enough how much it means to me. Um, you know, couldn't do anything without the community and the support that we had throughout the season. So. Big shout out to my teammates, my coaches, my family, uh, the whole Jersey Shore community. It was it's truly a blessing to be able to play in front of them. So. Well, you definitely gave them plenty to cheer for on offense and defense. Thank you so much for joining us, Cooper. Thank you. We're here now with safety Brock Polinski from Minersville area. Congratulations on making the dream team. Thank you. You're like Mr. Turnover. Eight interceptions this year. That led the state of Pennsylvania in the regular season. You also forced three fumbles as well. Uh, what is it about your game as a defender that puts you in position so frequently to cause turnovers? I mean, well, a lot of it comes from help from my defensive coordinator, which is actually my dad. And when I come out to play, 
it shows. I mean, all of that time that I spent uh, studying the other team, it shows. How much has he pushed you and molded you into the defender that you are today? The state leader in interceptions, he's been doing that since I want to say I was in fourth grade. He's just been putting the time in, doing everything with me that he can do just to get me in the position that I need to be in. And it's not just the turnovers. You also had 113 tackles this year. Uh, how did you take it upon yourself to really be a leader on this defense? Whenever I was out there and I made a tackle, uh, I would always go run over to my freshman teammates and I would always be jumping around and celebrating with them, making sure that they were always a part of the team and they knew that they could always come to us. I'm honored to have been selected to this team. And to have two kids in the past two years be on this team from such a small school, I think it's such a, a big thing. I mean, small school, big football. Up next, Tri-Valley's Reese Hunzinger coming on to the dream team at linebacker. So Reese, what did you do to, this year to allow yourself to be more aggressive on defense and make tackles? You know, Ron, I'm very quick to get to the ball. I'm strong and I uh, can read the ball pretty quick. So what would your message be to all the people coming up behind you to be another strong linebacker for the Tri-Valley defense? Lift heavy, um, always be confident in what you do and never stop working hard and watch your film. I knew the plays after watching film. Um, I studied the plays so I could call out the plays when I seen the formation line up and I could react quicker to it. How have you improved since last season? Well, I got a lot stronger. I hit the weight room a lot. What's the legacy you want to leave at, at this school, knowing all the hard work you put into to make you guys such a good football team? Well, my dad was a very good football player when growing up, so I want to be like him and continue that Tri-Valley football legacy. What does he tell you about what it takes to succeed and how much did you really embrace that? Tough work, always pray, God's number one. What does it mean for you to be on this dream team? It's an honor. Um, it's honestly a privilege. I'm so grateful for it. Be, I want to thank God for that, truly. Without him, I couldn't have been anywhere in this. Our next linebacker, Ben Manley from Mahanoy area. Congratulations on making the dream team. Thank you. Well, you're the quarterback of the football team, but you make our dream team as a linebacker. That's where you're an all-state selection as well. This is the third straight year you led your team in tackles, 115 of them your senior year. What does that mean to you? I believe it starts on defense. If the other team can't score, then they can't win, obviously, because they don't score any points. So it gives you an edge. If your defense plays well, your offense doesn't have to play as well. Obviously, the quarterback gets all the glory on the football team. But, but I get the sense you take more pride as a linebacker than as a quarterback. Why is that? Yes, I mean, uh, the linebacker is basically the quarterback of the defense. You have to make all the reads, pre-snap pre adjustments. So I take pride in that. What's going on pre-snap that you get yourself in position to make the play more often than not? I watch a lot of films, so I pick up on a lot of linemen's like, movements and stuff like that, and quarterback's eyes. So when I come up to the line, I first look at the guards and then the quarterback to see if they're peeking anywhere. How much does football mean to a, a small community like Mahanoy area? Oh, it means everything. I mean, you walk downtown and you see people and they're wishing you luck and telling you congratulations. So it, in a tight-knit community, sports brings everyone together. Your teammate, Cole McGrordy, was also an All-State defender. I, I would imagine he's a good friend of yours as well. We've been called Thunder and Lightning. He, he had the speed and I was the size and strength. So, He's Ben Manley. He is a dream team linebacker from Mahanoy area. I need three or four blockers and I'm standing next to this guy, Mason Hoppus from Hughesville. 196 tackles. I don't even know how you accumulate that many. 19th in the country this year. So. What enabled you just to be that ferocious on defense and just keep going to bring all those guys to the ground? Uh, start with the offseason with just putting in work, uh, believing, and um, our team, I mean, my teammates on defense, I couldn't get it without them. They do their job, I do my job. Now here's what everybody wants to know. What was your post-game routine after, I think you said you had a game where you had 20 plus tackles, so what was your post-game routine just to stay fresh and to regroup for the next week after um, working hard? I mean, uh, a lot of rest. Uh, I did sleep in the next day, uh, let the body rest, uh, kept it easy on the weekend, and then got back after it on Monday. So you left the alarm clock off Saturday yeah. morning so you go ready for the next Friday. That certainly <laughs> is the plan of the way to go. And what does it mean to you to, to be part of this dream team? Uh, it's just something I've always dreamed of. Uh, I kind of got here without the coaches, my family would believe in, and my teammates just for a heck of a year. What was the biggest improvement you think you made fr from being an underclassman until now? Uh, just putting in the work in the offseason. This past offseason, we did a lot of seven-on-sevens, learning how to read offenses better and uh, 
zones and just working on all that. I'm guessing nobody wanted, on your team wanted to line up against you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Congratulations Thank on you. the Dream Team. We're here now with Dream Team linebacker Mason Raup from Danville. Congratulations on making the Dream Team. Thank you. Uh, I would say anyone who records over 100 tackles in a season had a great year. You had 152, over 100 solo tackles alone. Talk about having a nose for the football. How do you find yourself in the right position to make those plays? Play in and play out. Making a read quick and trusting it. And then just going. You finish your high school career with 562 tackles. That is the Danville school record. What does that mean to you? Uh, I think just to to leave something behind after uh, after a long career and uh, to be able to be you know recognized in the future and, and remembered, I guess, is, is sort of a, is, is really cool. You also block three punts and block the kick. I mean, uh, making an, an impact on special teams as well. How much of this team was was really just all three phases? There wasn't a weak spot on the field. Uh, it, any any person at any time you could rely on. So you're never holding your breath when anybody was you know had the ball. How do you think the two sports kind of complement each other? How has being a baseball player helped you be a better football player? So in baseball, you, you fail uh, way more than you succeed, and and you have to be okay with that in order to be a good player. So that failing is okay, and and. and to, uh, to be able to make the next play. Well, today's a day to celebrate your football career. Congratulations, Mason Raup, Dream Team linebacker. Thank you. Another talented member of the Jersey Shore team, Hayden Packer, our Defensive Player of the Year. Now, people know you for running the football, but how did you take that tenacity and carry it over to the defensive side of the ball? I mean, I think a lot of it is just wanting to have contact when running the ball and having, the co having that contact when tackling someone, that makes a huge difference. I mean, big contact makes fumbles happen and offense gets the ball back and goes from there. How did that intimidation carry over from the offensive side of the ball when you run somebody over on offense to get a first down or a touchdown and you come right back on defense and you have a chance to tackle them? I mean, so much of football is momentum. I mean, if you have high momentum coming from running the ball, scoring some touchdowns, doing some great things for the offense, then going right into the defense, you're going to carry that momentum and just run through some people. What were you able to do? What was your biggest improvement from your junior year till now to, to really make another dream team? That's a good question. I'd say a lot about confidence and being able to be coached over the summer, working with some 7-on-7 stuff. I mean, this year I've had more deflected passes and interceptions than any other year. That all happened through the summer. And then weight training through the summer got me more confident for playing defensive position and running the ball. So I'd say that's probably my biggest improvement. And you guys certainly will add a legacy to hopefully have some more deep playoff runs. Thank you so much. Yep. What does it mean to you to be able to make this dream team? I mean, second, t second year in a row getting Defensive Player of the Year, it's, it's huge to me. I mean, everyone wants to be on the dream team. It, everyone recognizes who people are on the dream team. It's just such a great uh, award to receive. Well, they recognize you because your offense and defense finding the end zone and getting plenty of big plays on defense as well. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Up next, the Offensive Player of the Year. Hey, this is the crew at Blaze Alexander, Greater Houston Buick GMC. If you're in the market for a used car, we have got Ford. We got GMCs, Chevys, Nissans, Kias, Buicks. Matter of fact, we got it all. We even have the lowest price guarantee. Or you'll get $1,000. <laughs> With a $1,000 guarantee, we'll be crushing the competition. So why go anywhere else if you're out looking for a car? Blaze Alexander Buick GMC, the lowest price guarantee. Or we'll give you $1,000. The Kaiser Brothers are here to help get you into the new vehicle of your dreams. Find a Jeep for all your winter adventures during Owner Appreciation Month. Need a truck? No problem. Choose from a full lineup of light and heavy-duty trucks, chassis, and ProMaster vans. No matter what vehicle you're looking for, the Kaiser Boys on Route 405 in Muncie and Route 11 in Danville are where selection and service equal satisfaction. Flying to and from AVP is always convenient and hassle-free. Whether for business or leisure, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport is friendly and easy. It's easy and convenient to park, easy to ticket, convenient to board, and convenient to connect. And TSA is a breeze at AVP. When you return, your bags are close to your transportation. No matter where you want to be, you can conveniently get there from AVP. 
Why settle for less than the best? Choose the best. Choose Blaze Alexander Nissan's low price guarantee. We have the best prices. We have the best service. And we have the best selection of new and certified pre-owned Nissans. And everyone comes with our low price guarantee or we'll pay you $1,000. We dare you to find a better dealer. Never settle. Demand the best. Alexander Nissan, the best. With our low price guarantee, we're taking the deals the other guys won't. Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase, sponsored by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. It's time now for the wide receivers, and we bring in Reese Gawhan from Riverside. Congratulations. Thank you. So your head coach, Harry Armstrong, kind of surprises you. He doesn't tell you why, but he says, just come <laughs> to the airport today. Uh, well, now you know you're part of the Dream Team. What mm -hmm. does that mean to you? It means a lot, you know. That's this great honor. Uh, I would just like to thank my coaches, the community, my family, all my teammates. It's just a great honor to be here. Well, it's your first winning season since 2018 at Riverside. I know it's something that was a heavy goal of your team. What did it mean to you to actually have that winning season for the first time in your high school career? Uh, it meant everything. And you're a 1,000-yard receiver, 20 touchdowns this year. What was it like for you to kind of be the focal point of the offense this year? Uh, it was awesome, you know. Uh, I get to play a couple different positions on offense, you know. Uh, very fun. Uh, I have a great quarterback, Chase Sidonio, who was able to get me those touchdowns. How'd you grow as a receiver? Like, I have all three coaches have been there since my the start. They bought me in. Uh, they always work on my route running, my catching, my hand-eye coordination, you know. Uh, and remember in the plays, keep studying. Congratulations, best of luck to Thank you. you. He's Reese Gawhan. He is a dream team wide receiver. The next receiver to join our star-studded lineup, North Schuylkill's Joey Flail. So versatile this season, six rushing touchdowns in addition to receiving. So what allowed you this year just to be a versatile guy that can be useful all over the field? Well, over the offseason, I, I was really trained on my speed, agility, stuff like that. And our offense really set me up for what I did. As a receiver, what's the moment you know you have the, the corner beat and they're intimidated just by knowing you know all your stats everything that you've had you know leading up to those big games this season usually i can really tell how they, like they play on me if they're a few yards off me i know like they're really not trying to get beat but uh, if they're pressed up on me then that's when i really give it to them <laughs> all right well we hopefully have a few more uh defensive backs to beat next season Joey. <laughs> Now those guys know your number after that run, but tell us why 32, why is that at 14? Uh, my brother was 32 before me. He was a running back at North Google, and I've been 32 my entire life. So you gotta live up to the, the legend of, of your older brother. Congratulations on joining the Dream Team. What does it mean to you? It means a lot, actually. Last year I remember watching on TV, and I made it one of my main goals to get this year, definitely. And it feels happy to actually be on it this year. And what are your goals next year? You're a senior, so one of the team leaders. What are your goals going into your senior season? I just want to be able to help the team as much, much as I can. And you certainly do that, finding the end zone all the ways you do. Thank you. Thank you. Our next wide receiver, Ross Iyer from Muncie. Congratulations on making the dream team. Thank you, sir. You're also an all-state selection. You, you did that the last couple of years on defense, but this is your first year as an all-state wide receiver. What was working so well for you on offense this season? Uh, well, I felt like we really opened up our playbook this year and try to get guys open. And I feel like a big part of that, getting the guys open, was our quarterback, Branson. Kind of made more opportunities for everybody else because he could scramble out of the pocket and hit you on the run. And he could throw the ball 10, 15, 20 yards further this year. So it helped for all of our quicker guys to get downfield. He could just throw it up there and let you run out and get it. So I think Branson putting the work in and us opening up the playbook kind of helped all of our receivers get more this year. What was it like playing alongside your cousin, not just this year, but in your entire career? I mean, <clears throat> we've played together our whole lives, so it's kind of like a we have that bond thing that not a lot of people have. And uh, we've had it since the day we met each other. And he's a little bit older than me, so he got to meet me first, I guess. But since then, we've just been inseparable. I think the biggest jump for me receiver-wise from this year to last year was definitely um, route running and running crisper routes and getting more open and using my speed across the field on post routes and drags and slants just to try to get some separation from the defender and just let my legs do the rest. Oh, certainly on full display this year. Ross Iyer, dream team wide receiver from Muncie. A receiver we had to add to this team, Jalen Andrews. What enabled you for Loyal Stock Township to just get open and always be a guy that your quarterback can count on? But throughout this summer, you know, getting Flea always keeping us on track, coming in early mornings and working out. 
What did Davion really add to the passing game to be able to allow you guys to get open? Um, he added a lot, you know, having a great factor like that, a good, strong running back. You know, you, you come into the game deciding you want to take away the run or the pass, and with our team, we're lucky enough to have, be able to accomplish both. Now, how'd you come back and also be able to play defense and get three interceptions this season? Um, you know, I just kind of filled in a role wherever we needed. Some of our key starters went down, so wherever they need me to put me, I just filled in that role. And what's the challenge for you next year stepping forward as a team leader and being a senior? Um, I look forward to that, you know, being one of the older guys. I've kind of always been one of the younger guys on the team. I'm, I'm very excited to be one of the leaders of this upcoming season. Overall, looking back, what's it mean to know that you made a dream team? Um, it feels good. You know, I've been through with this so much, you know, with my freshman year, not even getting any play time to my junior year being one of the top receivers. Uh, it feels very good. And now you got that trophy. Go from no playing time to having a trophy to hang up for all everybody to see. Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. Our next dream team wide receiver is Carson Persing from Danville. Congratulations on Thank making you. the dream team. But not only have you made the dream team, from all the players in District 4 and 2 and 11, you are our Offensive Player of the Year. Congratulations. What does that honor mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. I put a lot of work in in the offseason with all my friends and teammates and stuff to make a senior season like what we had. It's successful and something to remember. And to be honored like that, it's, it's a big special moment for me. Nearly 1,700 all-purpose yards, just a dominant wide receiver. When you look back at your senior season, what are you going to remember? Um, probably just having fun. We won a lot of games. I mean, it's one of the most successful teams we've had in program history. And to win three straight district championships for our school is something that's never been done. 53 catches, 1,122 yards. That's 21 yards per reception. That's insane. What was the kind of chemistry you had with your quarterback, Zach Gordon? I mean, our chemistry goes way back. I mean, we've played together all different sports since we were seven, eight years old. So when you go on the field, it's pretty much second nature. And just to put the extra work in the offseason as a team that we did, just to get as many reps as possible really helps down the stretch of the season. For you to be on this team twice and to get the Offensive Player of the Year, how special is that? It's very special. I mean, last year, getting the award was a big honor. And I wanted to prove myself and work harder to make sure I was on this. There's a bunch of good kids in the area, obviously. So to be honored with the Offensive Player of the Year for the second time in a row, it's just an honor of all the hard work and all the good teammates and successful teams that we've had. So that's a big time. Congratulations on being our Offensive Player of the Year. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Dream Team Player of the Year is up next. Over the last 31 years in Taylor, PA, Gahan Auto Store has developed a strong attachment to the community in an effort to give back to youth organizations in any PA, the area Gahan loves, actively seeking out opportunities to sponsor youth organizations and events dedicated to enriching our community. Gahan Auto Store thoroughly enjoyed their involvement as leaders in the community supporting youth programs and will continue to assist whenever possible as they seek positive teamwork and goals. Gahan Auto Store, where Taylor meets Old Forge. Jack's playing baseball now, and Sam inherited her dad's love of chemistry and his teeth. And I'm learning that having a family is expensive. Well, at Wise, you can find plenty of ways to save on things your family loves. And less money on groceries means more money for... everything else. That's awesome. That's Wise. Eat better. Spend less. That's Wise. Monday at 11, are you being charged for not using your heat this winter? We verify the so-called weather normalization adjustment and why thousands of customers could be paying more because of it. Monday at 11. President's Day sales event. Hi, it's Adam at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie. With over 170 brand new Chevrolets available and more on the way, including more than 100 Silverados and 2.99% on select 1,500 Silverados. Why go anywhere else? Rates as low as 0.9% on Chevrolet certified pre-owned, which include a scheduled maintenance program and two factory back warnings. And only at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie, where you'll find the lowest price guaranteed. Welcome back to the 2022 Dream Team. 31 talented guys. Number 32, of course, the player of the year from Crestwood, Noah Schultz. What does it mean to you to be able to have this trophy and say that this year you're the man standing tall as the player of the year? Um, this certainly means a lot to me. Um, I've, I've been dreaming of stuff like this since I was a little kid, and it's just awesome to live out this dream. 
Well, what a season you guys had. I mean, you went to the Class 4A Eastern Final, farthest Crestwood's ever gone as a program. Can you just put into words what this ride was like for you and your teammates? Um, this was a great experience. It was super fun. I mean, many memories and stuff like that. And tell us just what your shift was like going from quarterback to running back and how that helps you be a team leader setting, setting from example. I was in that position before, so it helps me understand, help, help out my guys and stuff like that. You set the school record for rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, 2,300 yards this year, 34 touchdowns, over 10 yards per carry. You got a first down every time you touch the ball. What does it mean to you to kind of be in the school record books? Walk in the school and I could see my name on like banners and stuff like that. And it's awesome to know that it'll stay there for a while. Now there's a, there's a lot of young kids watching this dreaming to, to get to where you are. So what would your message be to, you know, a seven or eight year old saying they want to play football? And, and If you're buzzed and doing this to make yourself feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive.